Uh, good afternoon, teacher. So this afternoon will be my onboarding uh, here in uh, 501 Talk. So here are the things that you have to prepare before your onboarding. So make sure you have uh, Microsoft Teams installed in your computer uh, because the onboarding orientation will be conducted via MS Team or Microsoft Teams. And uh, to enter in the Microsoft Teams uh, uh, meeting room, all you have to do is to click this link. Don't worry guys, this will be sent uh, by your teacher's facilitator on your Skype account. Like in my case, uh, Mom Stephanie sent me this reminder, so that's why I have it here open. So that is if you pass the interview. Uh, don't worry, I have my actual 5.1 Talk interview. You can uh, uh, click the link below to watch my actual 5.1 Talk interview as well as my uh, actual uh, pre-service orientation in 5.1 Talk. So after interview, after PSO, onboarding will be the next and uh, the last step will be NTT. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter the uh, MS Teams uh, meeting room. So we're just gonna click this one. All right. And it'll ask you to open Microsoft Teams, okay? Just click on it. So you will only see this option once you have you have successfully installed and uh, signed up with Microsoft Teams. So uh, I'll be uploading a tutorial video on how to install and sign up in Microsoft Teams. It's easy. As long as you have an existing Skype account, you can use the email address uh, you've used in your Skype uh, to sign up for Microsoft Teams. All right. So for those uh, new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be updated with my latest uploads uh, all about you know ESL about my journey as an ESL teacher so I've been an ESL teacher for more than four years the first ESL company that I worked with was with Akatsoc uh, okay so it's asking my name so I'm just gonna type here my name choose uh, I will type my uh, teacher's name, okay? So my teacher's name is Arthur Jerome. Arthur Jerome. Okay. So guys, if it's noisy in your area, you can install Crisp. Crisp is actually a, a software that has the ability to cancel background noises, so it's free. All you have yeah, that's me. <laughs> so all you have to do is to click click my referral link below, uh, together with the link uh, my tutorial on how to properly set up Crisp. So it's easy. So as you can see, guys, since I'm using MS Teams and it's kind of noisy in my place. So once you are in this uh, page, you have to click this gear icon, okay, and then you have to select for the microphone. Uh, for the audio devices, select Crisp Audio, okay? And the microphone, Crisp as well, okay? To avoid, uh, to make sure that the facilitator will not hear any background noises. Once done, just close this one, okay? Now we're going to check here. Uh, okay, we have to read the message. Good afternoon. Will be meeting room will be exactly two, ma'am. Uh, hello, teach. My link na ba sa team meeting? Okay. Yes, teach. Nag send po sa Skype nyo. Personal message. Si ma'am Stephanie. Okay. 
So, all right, now we're going to click join now. Okay. Okay, it's connecting. Uh, okay, just click allow access. Okay, that's fine. So it seems that my firewall is blocking some features of this app. So if I won't be able to enter, I'll have to disable firewall. Uh, when the meeting starts, we'll let people know you're waiting. Okay, so the meeting hasn't started yet. Wala po sa akin teach. Okay. So, I uh, notice uh, some of the uh, new teacher's applicants. I don't know if they haven't received the uh, personal email that was sent by the facilitator. Because they're supposed to receive this uh, message. Okay. Okay. Please message Mom Stephanie. Stephanie Pok. Okay. Uh, yes, po. Waiting na lang. Okay, when the meeting starts, we'll let people know you're waiting. Okay, so I noticed, guys, uh, okay. They are new teachers in 5-1 Talk, so waiting pa lang po. Pero nakain na ako sa teams. Because uh, before, uh, the OB uh, was conducted uh, via Zoom, so it's easy. But right now, it's MS Teams, so I understand that some of the new teachers are not familiar yet how to use... Uh, MS Teams because it's it's not uh, user friendly. Unlike with uh, Zoom, it's user friendly. Send for screenshot. Me too. Okay. No, not that one. Oh, what happened? Okay, rent screen. If you're the organizer or the invite came from your work or school, please sign in. Oh, hey, hey. So, akin, laparin. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm in. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Good luck to us. Wait for your get to wear my headgear. It's okay. Okay, so our onboarding is now starting. So fortunately, I'm able to. Back into MS Teams.
Ben. Kaya bong kong butangin ko an. Una ko ijanin. <laughs> Kana bong. Ijanin. Awaray. Okay, guys. Good afternoon. Um, sige, please be on mute lang. Uh, so let's just wait for another minute. Kasi baka may mga pumasok pa. So, relax lang muna kayo dyan. Okay, sige. So everyone, I'll be checking your attendance. So if I call out your name, unmute and say present. Okay. Um, so let's get started. Uh, Mari, guys, please be unmute. Let me know. Teacher, please be on mute. Yung kakarating lang. Naka-unmute ka. Again, please be on mute. Unmute. Ikaw, teacher. Please go, Lord. Oh, Oi, okay. so Marian Riva Monte. Marian Riva Monte. Absent again. Um Eileen Grace Manikdo. Present. Okay. Uh, Mark Anthony Versosa. Present. Mark Anthony Versosa. What that? Present. Um Tumagot Agad. Okay. Uh, Nishari Saladaga. Sir. 
um, Maria May Larvis. Maria May Larvis, or that. Yvette Garcia. Excuse me. Yvette Garcia, what that? Guys, please be on mute. I'm going to go to the next one. Lovely Banner. Lovely Banner. Present. Lideros Torero, please be on mute. Is it hard to follow instructions, guys? Magmute tayo pag hindi tinatawag, ha? Huh? Uh, Dexel May, the high lung sod. Dexel May, wala. Dexel May, you're here, but you're not talking. Oh, my goodness. Uh, April Jane Marin. Present, sir. Casey Cardona. Present, sir. Casey present. Cardona. Present, sir. Um, Jonna. Gutang. Answer. Uh, Rochelle Enoch. Present, sir. Mute na tayo pagtapos na, please. Les Mendez. And Melvin Manzo. Present. Mm-hmm. Um, Jericho Dupitas. Jericho, wala. Um, Jazel Innocentio. Jazel, wala. Maria or Mariah Sanako. Mariah Sanako, you're here. Miriam or Miriam Katay. Mariam Katay. Nandito ka pero hindi ka nag admit ah. Guys, please follow instructions. If I call out your name, unmute and say present. Is it hard to do? Um, Beverly Reyes. Von Taronga. Von Taronga. Present, sir. Present, present. Zarina Guevara. Present, sir. Jazil is already here. Okay, Jazil, nandito ka na. Present ka na. Um, Grace Rosas. Present, sir. Mm -hmm. um, Hannah Lorraine Labar. Present, sir. Mm -hmm. Kathy Pudido. Present, sir. Marlet Corbe. Or Corb, I'm sorry. Marlet, hola. Um, Gladys Monfero. Present, sir. Mm -hmm. um, Lideros Toquero. Present, sir. Okay. Maricel Ragas. How about Christine Joy Bayon On? Good afternoon, present, sir. Okay, anyways. Um, Jean Gabriel. Jean Gabriel absent. Mary Joy Vilyanka. Present for okay. Um, Roxanne Me Girigai. Beneath Diaz. Present, sir. Yeah. So, ulitin ko lang yung absent, everyone. Eh. Um, baka nandito na kayo. So, Marian Rivamonte. Maria. Me, Larvis, Yvette Garcia, Nicolas Mendez, Jericho Dupitas, Beverly Reyes, Marlette Corbe, Maricel Ragas, Jean Gabriel, Roxanne Garigay. Wala kayo, no? Okay, may hindi ba ako natawag, everyone? 
So, sino to? Sino to? Hello? Inessential, Who's this? I'm Jackal Inessential, sir. Sinabihan na kita na you're here already. Sino pa? Si Jazzel lang ba? Okay, sige. So, everyone, wait lang, ha? So, I'll be finalizing your attendance. And then, we will start already. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Anna Charisma, sir. What's your last name? Arnado. Arnado. And Asanka. Type your name in the chat window. Chat window. Make it fast. Okay, Yvette is here already. Um, wait long day, sir. Anna Charisma. Okay, wait long, eh? Carnado. Anna Carnado. Okay. Kailangan magme-message. Dito naman sinabi kong message eh. Anna Carnado. So, ikaw yung dito. Okay. Okay, so ito lang eh. Sige, so good afternoon everyone. So, I'm Hankins. I'm one of the coaches here in 5-1 Talk. And I'll be your onboarding facilitator for today. Okay, so um, before we start, some ground rules first. So I think it's pretty obvious. What's the first ground rule, guys? You have to be on mute at all times. Okay, because I don't want you to be distracted by the background noises. Okay, so I want you to be uh i want you to be uh focused the onboarding session at all i want you not to be distracted okay so please maingay sa mga background nyo okay i don't want you to be distracted so always be on mute malinaw ba tayo malinaw ba okay guys again oh Wala ako sinabi magsalita, di ba? So you just have to nod. Okay, so again, I'm a very strict guy. Okay, I'm a coach. I'm a high-level ranking officer here. So please, I need your cooperation. Okay? Makinig lang kayo sa akin, ha? Um, there will be two parts of this coaching session. Or not coaching session, but uh, onboarding session. Okay? So, first, you'll be watching a 40-minute video, okay? So, while watching the video, I want you to jot down notes, okay? Because you'll be needing that in the future, okay? So, make sure to jot down your notes. And then, after watching the video, you'll be listening to me, okay? So, guys... I'm strict, but again, I'm not going to suck up all of your energy today. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, so relax lang kayo, ha? So this is a chill session. Okay, hinihingi ko lang yung full cooperation nyo. And of course, I want each and every one of you 
to follow instructions. Okay, so guys, again, this is a chill session. So just make sure na nakikinig kayo and yung full cooperation yun nasa akin, nasa trading na to. Okay, so guys, you can have your snacks with you. If you want to drink, you can drink. Go ahead. Just make sure na you are listening. Okay, now everyone, if I ask you if everything is clear, if I ask you a question, just give me a thumbs up. Okay, so please, walang magta-type, walang message sa chat. Okay, walang magsasalita ng hindi ko sinasabi. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, we will be having a Q&A later. So I'll be happy to answer all of your questions later. So you just have to keep it muna and save it for later. Okay, okay. so everyone, I'll open the video now. So wait lang ha. Okay, so guys, give me a thumbs up. Guys, by the way, wag kayo magpapatay ng video. Ha? Wag kayo magpapatay ng video. So give me a thumbs up if you can see the video clearly. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear the video clearly. Waiting for new teachers. This training... Okay, so girl, uh, girls, everyone, may quizzes dyan? Hindi nyo sasagutan yan. Okay, so relax lang kayo. Kung gusto nyo sagutan... Mabait kayo masyado. So, wag nyo, na, wag nyo na sagutan. So, you just have to focus sa, ano, sa video. Okay? Sige. So, everyone, listen very carefully and jot down notes. It has six parts. Navigating my page. Using air class. Completing a lesson. Trainings and promotions. Your support team. And plotting off schedule. It is very important that you listen. Pay attention and take note of important information because you will be asked to answer a short quiz after each part. Part 1. My Page Navigation We will discuss eight important tabs in My Page. Shift Management My Booking Schedules My Contact Log Lesson History My Students' Feedback Book My Training, Lesson Fee Summary, and Account Setting tab. Let's look at Shift Management first. This is where you go to open or close slots. Plotting of schedule will be discussed in detail later. Next, we have the Booking Schedules tab. This is where you can see your profile. The start button can be found here as well. It will only appear 30 minutes before your first book lesson. So make sure that you will be able to click it before your first lesson of the day starts. Failure to click start may cost you to be tagged absent for your book lessons on that day. You will also see your satisfaction rate here. This number is from the evaluations given by your students. At the end of each class, students see a pop-up message asking them if they are satisfied or not. Your satisfaction rate is the total number of ES evaluations over the total number of evaluations. This number also refreshes every cutoff. On the What's New part, you get to read about the latest updates, promotions, incentives, and events in 5 on Talk. Make it a habit to check what's new every day. On the left part of your booking schedule, you can see the contact information of lesson support. Later in the training, you will be asked to save their contact numbers and bookmark the link of support portal so you can easily get a hold of lesson support whenever you need their help. Lastly, you will see your teaching schedules here and booking schedules. This is where you can view your open slots and book classes. Let's take a closer look at your schedule. Your schedule is always presented every six days. Your schedule for the day is the one highlighted in orange. 
And this is where you can see your actual class list. It will show you your students' names, schedule, type of lesson, and the medium you will be using. Please note that all teachers are required to open at least 30 peak slots in a cutoff. The first cutoff is every 1st to 15th of the month, and the second cutoff starts from the 16th until the end of the month. Peak slots are 1800 to 2030 on weekdays. Look at the icon on the right side of the slide. VIP is the tagging for newly enrolled students. The angry emoticon means that the student is a refunding student. This student asked for a refund class because they were not satisfied with their previous class. Free trial classes are tagged as new. These are conducted with students who have not yet enrolled with 5-1 Talk and are given free lessons so they can have a feel of the 5-1 Talk experience. Young learners are tagged as kid. Open slots are your teaching slots that are not yet booked by the students. Teaching Improvement Tool. This is where you get to understand how lessons are booked by the student and the indicators that affect it. All relevant indicators are combined into a teacher performance rating, which indicates the teacher's overall performance on 5 on Talk platform. The score of each indicator and the methods of improvement are itemized one by one for the teacher's convenience. Teacher's current overall score is 97.5. Base score, 72.5 for teachers within 90 days tenure and 70.3 for more than 90 day tenure teachers. History score shows your score from the previous days. The score refreshes at 9 a.m. daily. Status in blue indicates the good points, while status in red indicates what needs to be improved. In order for you to know more things regarding your student and prepare for the lesson, you need to access reservation details. You can do that by clicking the name of your student in Booking Schedules tab. Once we know some information about someone who we shall be meeting for the first time, we would be confident, enthusiastic, and optimistic that our approach and skills would be greatly appreciated, if not praised. Once a student books a class with you, his or her details would be made available to you via the My Booking Schedule tab. What you need to do is to click on your student's name to make the class reservation details appear. This is your My Students Feedback. You can now see your students' specific feedback on your My page. Students can give you a positive feedback, negative feedback, and a complaint. With this initiative, it will help you minimize or even eliminate unsatisfactory lessons by helping you monitor feedback on your own. Please ensure that you do not argue with students or parents. There is a dispute process in place if you need to appeal a specific student's feedback. Please take note that arguing a feedback with a student or parent is strictly prohibited. This is the lesson history page. This is where you accomplish the student's level assessment and lesson memo. The button for marking the student absent and tell reminder can also be found here. This will be discussed in detail later. This is the lesson fee summary page. You can find the summary of your earnings, incentives, and penalties here. 
take note that the payout is within 5 to 10 business days after each cutoff. The account setting tab is where you upload your personal information, upload your mode of payment, deadline of which is three days before the end of the current cutoff, and upload your NBI clearance and college diploma. Bank account settings. Five on Talk accepts BPI Personal Savings or BPI Family Savings account. In the absence of this, we can also accept Gcash account or PayPal account. To upload or select your payment account, you first have to go to Account Setting tab, then select the Payment option. For BPI account, you need to ensure the following. Account number should be 10 digits only. Account name should be under your name and should be the same full name in your service agreement. If you don't have a middle name, leave it blank. And lastly, upload your deposit slip. For GCash account, please ensure the following. Account number should be 10 digit mobile number only. Account name should also be under your name and should be the same full name in your service agreement. Your GCash account must be fully verified by GCash. And you must also provide a screenshot of your GCash profile with the information you entered above. Kindly note that BPI and GCash charges around 50 to 60 pesos per transaction. For PayPal account, please ensure the following. Email address must be the same email in your account setting under basic information. Account name should be under your name and should be the same full name in your service agreement. Kindly note that PayPal charges around 4.4% from the gross amount per transaction. Please also note that the change in payment option is not available three days before and after each cutoff. And again, the payout is within five to 10 business days after each cutoff. Lastly, we have the contact log. Messages from your coaches and admins, remarks regarding approved or declined request, and warnings issued for excessive absences can all be found on this page. This is the end of part one. Part two, air class. Keep in mind that MyPage and AC are two different platforms. MyPage is your teacher account, while AC serves as your virtual classroom for the students. Moving forward, please take note that the username and password of your Air class is the same as your MyPage account. You'll know that you're logged in correctly to AC if you'll see your picture on the upper left corner. If not, it's either you're still using the training password 51talk or you need to clear cache on AC. To enter the classroom, you need to click on the Enter Classroom tab for a lesson in order to attend the class. Make sure you enter the classroom two to three minutes before the lesson time to avoid being tagged as late or even absent.
This is what you'll see inside the AC classroom. This timer here starts once the class time begins. Be mindful of this and remember that each class lasts for 25 minutes. This is a whiteboard where you can see the lesson material. Use these buttons to turn the pages of the lesson material. In here, you'll see the student's video. While in here, you'll see your video. Please take note that conducting classes without a camera on is strictly prohibited. This is the chat box where you can communicate with the student. After conducting a full and meaningful lesson with your student, click the X button to exit the classroom. Take note that AC Classroom will not automatically close. You need to click the X button. Click the personalized button inside the classroom to access the fun features of AC to make your classes more exciting. You can use character masks, hats, and stickers, which your students will surely enjoy. AC also has a face beauty feature. To activate this, just go to System Setting and tick on Enable Face Beauty. You can also make your video larger so that students can better see you, your teaching aids, TPR, and stickers. Just click the zoom button at the bottom part of the video window to activate this feature. To reset your window to its normal size, click Restore. Computers Resource Reminder. This feature is only available on the teacher's end. After entering the classroom, AC will automatically test CPU and memory usage. A pop-up reminder will appear to remind teacher to close non-AC applications or switch to low-power mode. This will prevent AC from crashing. Students who are using an outdated version of AC or using a mobile device, phone, or tablet will not be able to see the dimension font features of AC. AC recognition of erotic, violence, and political pictures. Spine One Talk continues to promote a safe learning environment for students. Please be advised that usage of inappropriate pictures as teaching aids or background is never allowed. To prevent teachers discussing and sending inappropriate pictures in AC, AC will take two to five screenshots during the lesson time. AC will not send pictures containing erotic, violence, and political pictures to the student.
failure to comply might lead to prohibition of the service agreement cancellation after validation. A mock-up classroom is available if you need more practice to the AC classroom. You can enter the classroom without a student in it. Please note that it is only available on Windows AC version 2.32.0.15 or higher. To enter, you must key in 793021 on the material ID. Again, that's 793021. After, you need to choose H5 or PDF. Last thing to do is to click Enter. The AI Training Classroom is a new feature of AC that guides teachers how to use the tool and all its functions. AC features, types of lesson such as H5, and teaching procedure. An AI named Max will be facilitating this interactive training. Max will guide the teacher on how to use the features inside the lesson itself. To enter this room, open your AC, click AI Classroom tab on the upper part of the window, then click the Enter button. Once you are in, listen to Max for the instructions that will be given. Please also note that this is available on Windows AC version 2.41 and above. Part 3. Completing a lesson. After conducting a lesson with your student, you need to go to the Lesson History tab to submit a lesson memo. Look for your student's entry and click on Done so you can access the Lesson Memo page. Fill out the Lesson Memo page. Make sure you leave at least one correction each for part one, pronunciation, and part two, grammar and syntax. Dashes or NA are considered unqualified entries. Student may complain if you submit unqualified lesson memos. Once you have submitted your lesson memo, the word on Dawn will be changed to posted. This is an indicator that you have successfully submitted the memo. The time of completion will also be recorded by the system. Teachers, always remember to finish the lesson memo in order for your student to know your expert's opinion on his or her performance, and also for you to keep track if your student is progressing. A class is only considered done once the lesson memo is posted. Remember, no lesson memo, no pay. For regular lessons, kindly be reminded of these deadlines. For lessons from 6 a.m. to 12 noon, deadline is 1400 of the same day. For lessons from 1230 to 1800, the deadline is 2000 of the same day. And for lessons from 1830 to 2300, the deadline is 9 a.m. of the next day.
Take note of the following lesson memo penalties on the right side of the screen. Lesson memo is not posted before 12 noon of the next day. Teachers will be tagged as absent. Save screenshots of successful posted lesson memo as backup. As a 5-1 talk teacher, you are expected to be professional and practice integrity in all of your conducted lessons. Parents paid for a full 25-minute lesson and deserves teachers' dedicated attention. A penalty of 200 pesos will be deducted from the teacher if a student reported behaviors such as but not limited to Teacher finished the lesson early without logging out from AC classroom. Lesson memo was blank. Lesson memo was incomplete or irrelevant with the lesson. Teacher or student absent but posted lesson memo. Reliability in the platform is very important. It is not enough that you have excellent communication skills. You should also make sure that you are able to attend and conduct every single book lesson. Reliable teachers build a good reputation for themselves in the platform. As a teacher, how would your students want to remember you? Reliable teachers get more bookings because they have more satisfied students who in turn become their regular students. Please avoid absences at all costs. If missing a lesson cannot be avoided, please inform lesson support through chat, SMS, or call. Here are ways to report your absences. Utilize self-tag function on shift management tab by clicking the boy icon. Download 5 on Talk teacher app. Use SMS self-tag. And last, reach support through these channels. Once tagged absent, penalties will apply depending on the time you inform us of your absence. Please take note of the missed lesson penalty on your screen. NLT will apply to all missed lessons, regardless of the means of notification. Part of being reliable is conducting a 25-minute lesson. Students pay for full 25-minute lesson, and teachers should expect to deliver this at the agreed time. Late and leave early is one of the top driver of complaints and causes refund. Please do your best to avoid this attendance issues to improve your renewal and earning. To avoid being late and leaving the classroom early, please make sure to enter the classroom two to three minutes before your class. Be mindful of your book lesson time. Make it a habit to check the timer in your AC classroom. Please take note of the late and leave early penalties on your screen. Okay. 
Auto prohibition. This page will show the progress of your warning level based on your incurred early notification and late notification absences, late and leave early. Every first of the month, you are given four points. If the points reach zero, your my page will be prohibited and the warning will escalate to the next level. If your my page is prohibited, you can still log in and conduct your remaining classes. However, you are prohibited on opening slots and the rest of your slots will automatically be closed. At the start of the new warning level, you are given a fresh four points. If it reaches zero before the refresh period, the warning level escalates to the next level. If no infraction was incurred during the 30-day period, the warning level will go one level down. Please take note of the point deduction equivalent on your screen. Please take note that we consider valid reasons for us to waive the penalty and remove the absence deduction from your points. If the reason why you miss your class is because of bereavement, ER cases with confinement, life-threatening situations such as robbery or fire, you can file for an absent appeal. Here are the steps on how to file an appeal. From Lesson History tab, click Appeal button under the Teacher is Absent tab. Read the rules and reminders carefully. Select the appropriate reason for appeal. Make sure that required proofs are in clear image and complete to avoid being declined. Specify your justification in the remark box as to why you are appealing for penalty exemption. Feedback will be provided within three business days. Once review has been completed, you will see the result in lesson history under the appeal tag. Please note that abuse of this function and any form of falsification of records or documents are grounds for service deliberation. The telephone reminder link can be seen once you go to your lesson history tab on your My Page. Look for the student's entry or schedule and click the tell reminder link to use this function. This can only be used once per lesson. Use it only when it is necessary. Due to certain incidents or reasons, your student might not attend the class even if he or she has booked your open class. If that happens, you have to make the student absent. Here are the steps on how to tag your student absent. Step 1. Click Mark Student Absent. Step 2. Choose the reason for your student's absence based on the situation. Step 3. Upload screenshots as proof that your student wasn't in for the lesson. Include timestamps. Step 4. Hit submit. When do you tag your student absent? You can tag your student absent after 15 minutes of waiting. You can still get 50% of the payment if student.
Here are important reminders when completing a lesson. Always conduct a full 25-minute lesson. If the whole material was discussed and finished before 25 minutes, do exercises, knowledge check, and recap to consume the full 25 minutes. You can mark a student absent 15 minutes into the lesson. One student is tag absent, you may leave the AC classroom. Do not post a lesson memo. Please refrain from communicating with students on a personal level. Always enter AC classroom two to three minutes before lesson time to avoid being late. For your first lesson of the day, it is strongly advised to log in 30 minutes early to launch all necessary tools and be knowledgeable of updates and recent reminders. In case a student is late, please conduct the lesson to the best of your ability and end it on the 25th minute as defined on the lesson details. Creepy, spooky, bloody images or topics that are not kid friendly should never be used or discussed in the 5-1 Talk platform. Irresponsible teaching will not be tolerated and will result to immediate cancellation of service agreement. To ease your students' expectations and avert complaints, avoid missing book lessons. Avoid entering the class late. Conduct a full 25-minute lesson. Always open your video. Make sure your internet connection is stable. Be mindful of your attitude. Post accurate lesson memo. Don't post a lesson memo if you or your student is absent. Ensure that your teaching environment meets the 5-1 Talk standards. Okay, guys, so let's end it. So let's go to our slides. So first thing, everyone, may updates tayo sa penalties. So here are the new updates, okay? Kasi masyadong malaki yung penalty before, okay? So ito na yung bagong penalty, okay? So if you notify at least... 12 hours before the lesson time, okay, if you notified or if you marked yourself absent at least 12 hours before the lesson time, 10% lang ng lesson rate nyo yung penalty, okay? Now, if you notify at least an hour up to 12 hours before the lesson time, 20% lang yung ng lesson rate yung penalty, so, ito na yung dapat na iwasan natin. Okay? Now, everyone, if you not uh, notify or tag yourself absent at least an hour up to uh, before the start of the lesson, yung lesson rate nyo, yung penalty. If you notify during the lesson time, 200% ng lesson rate nyo yung penalty. And if you didn't notify at all, 300% ng lesson rate nyo yung penalty. Okay? So, everyone, mali ito. If you notified early, malaki if you notified late or you didn't notify at all. Okay? So, everyone, hopefully, wala tayong missed lessons in the future. But just in case, now, you already know that you really cannot tag your, or you really cannot, um, Conduct your lessons as early as possible. Please tag yourselves absent, okay? To minimize the penalty, okay? So, malite, eh. Maliit pag ano, pag you notified early. Pero pag hindi tayo nag-notify right away, medyo malaki. Not bigger than the old penalty, pero di ba, malaki pa rin. Okay? So, are we clear about the new penalty scheme? Okay, so yeah, so everyone, I know you're working home, but just in case you need assistance, 
you have your teaching partners with you, okay? So first thing, by the way, everyone, I'll be sending some information on your chat window. So when uh, whatever I said in the chat window, please save it, okay? Copy and save it. So we can contact our teaching partners in the support portal, okay? So I'll be giving you the link of the support portal. Okay, so everyone wants to get launched, you can register your logins to support portal and you can use uh, your my page logins to pagpasok sa support portal okay so again uh, you can enter your logins once you get launched okay now everyone who are your teaching partners okay your teaching partners sorry sorry they are the lesson support team the technical help desk or the tech team and the fees team okay so we need to contact the lesson support team if you have any questions or inquiries if you have any lesson related concerns and if you cannot tag yourself absent you have to report it to the lesson support team as early as possible okay for the tech team naman of course, if you are <clears throat> if you are experiencing technical issues, okay, or if you have any technical issues, and if you have any my page or AC issues, you have to report it to the tech team. Okay. Now for the fees team, the man has something to do, of course, with this one. Okay. So if you have any concerns or issues regarding your lesson fees or your earnings. If you have any disputes or if you have any questions regarding your incentives, you can contact the fees team. Okay, so clear ba tayo dito, everyone? Okay, sige. Now, this is how the <clears throat> this is how the support portal looks like, everyone. Okay? So, how can we contact your teaching partners? You can contact your teaching partners by creating an offline ticket okay so everyone you just have to click on tickets tapos create na kayo ng offline ticket directed to the teaching partner that you need okay so heads up lang everyone uh, your teaching partners cannot, cannot answer you real time because everyone medyo madami kayo okay so the teachers here are around 30,000 okay 30,000 kayo ah um the support team nasa 20 lang yung mga yan okay so if you do the math 1 is to 1000 yan guys medyo outnumbered sila okay so kindly give them 24 to 48 hours to answer your concerns okay um hopefully walang mga urgent matters or urgent situations but just in case everyone na uh, there are urgent issues um they will ano naman, they will see kasi whenever you uh, pass a ticket makikita doon kung anong oras kayo nagpasa at kung unang araw so iko consider nila yung time and date kung kailan kayo nagpasa ng ticket okay clear ba tayo okay now you have your coaches too okay your coaches you can contact them real time so paano so we have the express support okay so everyone you can reach out to a teacher support coach to discuss your lesson or performance related or performance concerns okay um so again pwede tayong lumapit kay coach but lesson related or performance related lang now just in case na pumunta kayo sa expert support and your concerns are for the lesson support team tech team or the fees team the coach will just inform you to go to the support portal okay so you can contact your coach real time but this is my specific schedule lang. so the expert support is only available on weekdays from 10 to 12 p.m from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, so I'll be sending the details here. So kindly save it, everyone. Huh? Okay. 
So lahat naman na sinesend ko, nakikita nyo, guys? Okay, very good. Kati Pulido, ba't napakalabo ng camera mo? So hopefully, pag na-launch ka na... Ah, okay, dalawa ka, dalawa ka. Okay, sige, sige. Anyways. Um, okay, sige, everyone. I want you to go to your candidacy portal, please. So, candidacy portal or your applicant page, kung saan yung nakita yung link. Okay? So, guys, you can see there open slots and take quiz, right? Everyone? Hello? Nakikita nyo, open slots and take quiz? Oh, punta sa candidacy portal. Candidacy portal makikita yan, guys. Taka lang, bigay ko yung link. Baka yung iba nalilito sa inyo. Uh, wait lang, eh. Okay, this is the link. Again, dyan makikita yung open slots and take quiz. So, everyone, sino nakita ng open slots and take quiz? Yung iba, wala, yung iba nakikita nyo? Yes. Yes, sir. Guys, walang mag, uh, ano, walang sasagot. I just want you to do a thumbs up. Simple instructions. Okay, sige. Everyone, click on... Yung iba. Teka nga, hindi ko nakikita kasi. Guys, are you in the candidacy portal na? Sinong wala? Oh, sinend ko link. Yung ano, that's the applicant's page, everyone. The applicant's page. Dito nyo nakuha yung link nitong MS Teams. Okay, sige. Everyone, kindly click on open slots, please. Kindly click on open slots. Excuse me lang, guys. Inom lang ako. Sige. So everyone, then the open slots are supposed to see their time, date, close, close, close. Okay. Who among you guys can see an error message, a privacy error? Okay. Okay. So for those who can see privacy errors or yung an error message, to get to your remedy, everyone. Hello. Okay. Guys, pag nawala ako, huwag kayong aalis na. Hintayin nyo lang ako bumalik. Maggolo ko na naman to MS Teams ko. So, for those who can see privacy errors, first remedy, logout login. Okay? Pag hindi ko magana si logout login, second remedy, use another browser. Okay? Pag gumamit na kayo ng another browser but it's still not working, incognito mode na tayo, guys. Okay? Sige. Kindly try, please. Dapat lahat tayo makapasok sa, ano, sa open slots because I'll be teaching you how to open your teaching slots na. Okay, there. How about the others? Okay, sige. So everyone, I'll be sending you the steps on how to open your teaching slots. Okay? Para makasunod kayo. Here are the steps. Okay, now, tuturuan ko na kayo ha, on how to open your teaching slots. Okay, so everyone, makinig babuti. I'll be opening a my page. Oh, no, 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 no. Pikit kayo. Hindi nyo dapat makita to. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Wait lang, wait lang. Okay. There you go. Sorry, guys. Okay. So this is an example of a my page. Okay. So, everyone, nakikita nyo? Okay, sige. So, guys, magkakaroon kayo ng my page once you get launched. So, right now, yung candidacy portal lang yung meron kayo, ha? 
Okay. So first step that we need to do, guys, sit properly, sit properly, sit properly, sit properly, please. This is a uh, no, training session. So first step is for you to go to the shift management tab. Okay. So here in the shift management tab, this is what you can see in your open slots page. Tama? Diba? Okay, so makinig, ha? So everyone, there's a scroll bar on top for you to see all the days in the cutoff. Okay? You can scroll up and down for you to see all the time of the day. Okay, so ilalim, another scroll bar for you to see all the days in the cutoff. Okay? Now, if you want to go to the next cutoff, you can click on next. See the upper right corner, everyone. Huh? So click this in next. Mapupunta na kayo sa April. Okay? So again, same thing. Scroll from left to right for you to see all the days in the cutoff. You can scroll up and down for you to see the, uh, all the time of the day. Now, if you want to move back to the previous cutoff, Click on previous. Okay. Now, the next step, guys, is for you to click the slots that you want to open. Okay. So I want to open peak hours. Excuse me. What is peak hours? Peak hours starts at 1800 up to 20.30. That's 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Everyone, masanay tayo sa military time, ha? Kasi ito yung ginagamit natin. So, 1800 to 20.30 on weekdays. Okay? 1800 to 20.30 on weekdays. So, weekend is not a peak. Uh, walang peak hours on weekends. Okay? Sige. So, click tayo ng week, uh, peak hours. So, just have to click. Oh, click that and dose lang para mabilis. You just, uh, you just have to click the slots. Next thing is for you to click the submit button. Okay? There's one on top. There's another one at the bottom. Okay? So, if you click submit, a pop-up will appear. So, click na yung okay. It will refresh. Okay, so balikan natin, open na. Okay, so on your end, everyone, since you only have your candidacy portal, so mamaya pag nag-open kayo na slots, pag nakita nyo na na open na, okay na kayo, goods na kayo. Okay, now, if you have your my page, o pag nagka-my page na tayo, next step is for you to go to your My Booking Schedule tab, okay? Ano ba tong My Booking Schedule tab na to? This is your home page, okay? So pag kinig si home, pareho lang yan, okay? Sige, so we have to check the slots that we opened. Open na siya, okay? So you successfully open your teaching slots. Madali lang, guys. Very easy. Okay. Everyone, parang si Arthur lang yung nag-acknowledge. Nag okay, guys, come on. Acknowledge. Eileen, Hannah, Renette, lovely. Guys, come on. Lahat kayo, uh, tinitignan ko kayo ha, if you're participating or not. Again, is it easy, guys? Okay, sige. Um, now, how can we remove the slots? Okay, how can we remove the slots? So, same steps, everyone. Same steps. So, let's go back to the shift management tab. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So, balikan natin yung open natin earlier. Okay, so we have to click them again. Okay? So, click lang natin sila ulit. We have to click the submit button after. Okay, click. Oh, pop up will appear. So you just have to click OK again. Pag binalikan natin, wala na. If you go to your My Booking Schedule tab, 
Wala na. Okay? Madali lang, no, everyone? Okay, very good. So, guys, um, Okay. Um Okay. So everyone, sino na tatas ang kamay? Sino na tatas ang kamay? Sean, are you sharing your screen, sir? Because I'm not seeing your screen right now. Hindi na nakikita ba? Kulitin natin. Hindi niyo nakita yung my page? Oh my god. Sige. So, sige, mabilis lang naman to. Mabilis lang naman. Very sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, ano yung lahat? Back to zero tayo? Sige. So, sorry. Okay. Nakikita niyo na eh? <laughs> My bad, everyone. My bad. Okay, I'm very sorry. Okay, back from the beginning. Okay, so dito nakikita natin sa Chef Management tab yung open slots, right? So again, ulitin ko. So on top, you can see a scroll bar where you can see all the days in the cutoff. Tama? Okay, you can scroll up and down for you to see all the days or all the time of the day. If you want to move to the next cutoff, you just have to click on next. So, pag kinlik nyo yan, pupunta tayo sa March 1st cutoff. Okay? Now, everyone, same thing dito. Ah. Um, there's a scroll bar for you to see all the days in the cutoff. You can scroll up and down. Now, balik tayo. So, if you want to go back to the previous cutoff, just click on previous. Okay? Now, the next step is for you to click the slots that you want to open. So, sinabi ko na kanina yung peak hours. So, guys, click natin yung peak hours. So, ito. Sorry, guys. Ha? And so, you just have to click the slots that you want to open. Click submit. A pop-up will appear. Click OK. Now, everyone, since you only have your candidacy portal, like what I mentioned earlier, Pag nakita nyo na na-open yan, because mamaya mag-open na kayo eh, okay na kayo. You're good na. Now, once you have your My Page, the next step that you need to do is to go to your My Booking Schedule tab. Okay? So, everyone, si My Booking Schedule tab is your home page. Okay? Pag kinlik si home, pareho lang yan. Okay? So, you have to check the slots that you opened earlier. Pag may nakita kayong open dyan, it means that you successfully opened your teaching slots. Okay? So, gets everyone? I'm very sorry. Ha? Next, how can we close the teaching slots? Oh, yeah, ito na tayo. <laughs> how can we close the teaching slots? Go back to shift management and look for the slots that you want to delete. Okay? So, yung inopen natin kanina, talikan natin. You have to click on them again, guys. Okay? Now, oh, click natin ulit sila. You have to click the submit button. So, submit button, you can find one on top, one at the bottom. Okay? So, click submit. Pop-ups will appear. Okay. Click OK. So, magre-refresh yan. If you go back, wala na. Na-close na. When we go to all your uh, your My Booking Schedule tab, balikan natin yung slots. Wala na. Okay? I'm very sorry, everyone. Eh? So, madali lang. Madali lang. Nagets natin. Again, apologize. Or apologies, guys. Eh? Sige. Uh, so, later, like in five minutes, you will open your slots na. Okay? But first, a few reminders. Okay? Guys. Nasaan ako? Okay, punta tayo dun sa pula. So, important, you can only close or open slots up to 30 minutes before 
to the lesson time. Okay, so meaning, dapat before, uh, okay, bigyan, lang, bigyan ko na rin na sample. It's 3 o'clock, di ba? 2.58 pa lang, you want to open your 3.30 slot because in uh, libre ka, pwede pa. Okay, or 2.58 pa lang, your 3.30 slot is not yet booked. Gusto mong burahin, pwede pa. Okay, because it's more than 30 minutes before the lesson time. Now, for example, it's 3.05. You want to open a 3.30 slot? Hindi na. Hindi na pwede. Okay, or it's 3.05. You want to close your 3.30 slot because it's not yet booked? Pwede pa ba? Hindi na. Okay, because it's less than 30 minutes before the lesson time. Okay, clear? Okay, sige. Next, if your slots are booked, you cannot delete it. Okay, guys, again, eh, pag na-book tayo, magkaklase tayo. Okay, and make it your only option, everyone. Okay, so sana, actually there are two options, guys. Conduct the class or be tagged, that's it. Okay, hopefully, okay, ang mindset natin lagi, dapat, ang option lang natin is to conduct the lesson. Okay? Yun lang dapat yung option natin. Dapat ganun yung mindset natin, guys. Clear? But parang galit kayo. Hindi ba? Dapat ganun yung mindset natin, ha? So, sana lagi tayo nagle-lesson lagi. Okay? Sige. Uh, let's go to the bullet point. So, check your personal schedule before opening your teaching slot. So, everyone, if you open a slot, Make sure na yun at yun at yun lang ang gagawin natin. Magtuturo lang tayo. To avoid having conflicts. To avoid having missed lessons. Okay? Next. Check announcements from your electric and internet service providers regarding scheduled outages. So everyone... Ang unti nyo na bigla. I'm assuming na all of you have your social media accounts. Tama? Okay. So, guys, make sure to follow your electricity provider. Make sure to follow your internet service providers. Okay? Because they are posting scheduled outages. Okay? But important ito, para just in case that there are scheduled outages in your area, you will not open slots during those times. Diba? Or... Just in case that there are book slots na, may book slots na kayo, pwede nyo pang gawa ng paraan to save the class or you can tag yourself absent na as early as possible to minimize the penalty. Okay? Sige. Um, sige. So first, open slot should be a day after launching. Open at least 20 peak slots. Do not open on the day of your NTT. So guys, before you open your slots, is schedule ko kayo for an NTT session, okay? So, your NTT session, this is the new teacher training. Don't worry. This is not a requirement for you to be launched, okay? But this is an important training na I want each and every one of you to attend, okay? Kasi this focuses on how to conduct your lessons, uh, yeah, it, it focuses on lessons, so how to conduct your lessons and the different lessons, different students that you have here in the platform. Okay, now, first thing, before I schedule you, ang daming nawala sa inyo. So, 22 na lang kayo. Kanina, you're at 26. So, guys, mag-roll call ulit ako. Okay, so if I called you, make uh, say present, ha? Kasi hindi ayaw kong schedule yung mga uh, wala na dito. So, absent na sila for this training. Okay, sige. So, everyone, makinig. So, again, say present if you're here. Um, Aideen Grace? Sir. Here. Um, Mark Anthony? Present. Anthony, okay. Uh, Neshari? Sir. Okay, you're here. You're Yvette? Ito na, wala itong si Yvette. 
Absent. Um, lovely, Nika. Oh, yeah, you're here. Dexel. Dexel. Okay, okay, okay. So, Dexel, mute it, mute it. Uh, yeah, you destroyed our eardrums. Okay, Dexel, you're here. Yes. Um, April Jane. April Jane is here. Okay. Casey Joyce. Present, sir. Present. Joanna? Present. Is here. Ito, wala to. Rachel, Enoch. Rachel, wala to. Uh, Melvin is here. Jazel is Present, here. Sir. Okay, Mariah is here. Miriam. Present, is sir. Here. Vaughn. Vaughn? Oh, yes. Vaughn, no, wala. Okay. Uh, lab, sino yung naka-unmute? Ang sakit sa tinga. Guys, okay, okay mag-unmute uh, pag hindi ko kayo tinatawag. Ha? So, Vaughn is not around na. Anito ba siya? Wala na si Vaughn. Uh, Zarina? Guevara? Present, sir. Okay. Grace Rosas? Is here. Hannah? Is here. Gladys? Is here. Dideros is here. Present, sir. Okay. Christine Joy. Ito. Christine and Joy. Sir. Ah, dandito ka. Okay. Yes, po. Uh, Mary Joy is here. Renneth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Renneth is here. And Anna Charisma. Present, sir. Anna Charisma. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sige. So, nabawasan na kayo. So, absent na sila. Ay, excuse me. Okay, so si schedule ko kayo for a coaching session. So two batches because bente lang sa isang ano ha. So just give me a few minutes, everyone. Thirty. Wala na available na iba. Okay, so the late or the earliest available is on the thirtieth. That's a Wednesday. Ten thirty to one o'clock. So everyone except for Lynette and Anna Charisma. Okay, again, Lynette and Anna Charisma, hindi kayo kasama dito ah. So for the rest, wait lang. Lalagay ko lang muna kayo sa tracker. Okay, good. Okay, so everyone except for Anna Charisma and sino, let's say Renette, kindly copy this. This will be your NTT schedule. And, and then for again, for Anna Charisma and Renette, you will be ah, okay. 31. So the next day, same schedule. Okay, so uh, Anna Charisma and Renef, this will be your training schedule. That's March 31. And so for the next two, yung March 31 yung i-open nyo. Okay? Uh, okay. So, again, now, for the first 20 people, yung unang link, yung kay trainer Eman, dated at March 30. For Anna Charisma and Renet, you are scheduled March 31, again, with Eman. Okay, sige. So, please save it. Kasi ako lang magbibigay ng link sa inyo nyan. Okay? Sige. So, everyone... Open your slots now. So start opening on uh, starting on Monday. Okay, starting on Monday. And then now 
na na ba ngayon? 26. Starting on Monday. So start opening on the 28th up to the 31st. Okay, so for this cut off, open just uh, at least 20 peak slots lang. Okay, 20 peak slots lang yung open yo. Okay, uh, make sure na you're available sa mga slots na yung open yo, eh? Because once na launch tayo, yung mga slots na yung open yo. Uh, yung mga slots na yung open yo will be real slots. Okay? And idamay nyo na yung April 1st cut off. Okay, so yung mga slots for April, um, open at least 30 peak slots. Okay? So before moving to the next cut off, click submit first. Okay? Kasi pag hindi kayo nag-submit, hindi masisave yan pag nag-next lang kayo. So you have to click on submit first before you move to the next cut off. Sige. So I'll give you five minutes, everyone. Sige, open your slots na. So again, ha, make sure na yung slots na i-open nyo, you're available. Okay? Pag di kayo available, huwag nyo i-open. So guys, kung pwede, pick slots lang muna yung open nyo. Ha? Sir, excuse me. Mm. Sir, I still have problems with uh, privacy error in my Chrome. Inray niyo yung tatlong remedy kanina? Yes, 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 sir. Pag hindi pa rin gumagana, you need to restart your computer. So, do it later na lang. After Sige, our session. Sir. Ha? Ah. And by the way, sir, where are you sending the link, sir? Because I'm not seeing messages the chat window. in the Microsoft Wing. Chat window. Okay, I'll check, sir. Chat window Sir, ng MS Teams. Yung question later, sabi ko, di ba? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung question mo? Sa 28 po, sir, I won't be able to open diba? slot. Di ba? Kasasabi ko lang, if you're not available, do not open. I just mentioned it, eh. Sorry. Okay, so wag na huwag kayo mag-open ng slots na hindi kayo available ha? because, again, these are your first slots. Ayoko mag-absent agad kayo sa mga unang slots nyo. Kasi, again, once you get launched, all the slots that you open, pwede nang i-book yan. Okay? So, make sure na lahat ng slots na i-open nyo, you're available. Check yung mga tapos na eh. So, Mark Anthony. Dexel, April Jane, Anna, Charisma, Melvin, Mariah. Yung palang yung tapos na. Sir, excuse me. Ano oh, maabuso na? Di ba sabi ko kanina, pag may tanong, you have to wait. Okay, so
Okay, so sinong di pa tapos? Sige, so for those who are not yet done, um, ano na lang, uh, just continue opening your slots, okay, because I have to continue, okay? So makinig na lang, ha? so for those who are not yet done, while opening your slots, listen to me, okay? Sige, so guys, let's go back to our slides. Um, so important reminders tayo everyone so once you're launched make sure that you're online to, moni to monitor your schedule okay so everyone whenever you have slots book or unbook you have to be in front of your computer okay checking if your slots will be booked okay so there are cases kasi guys na teachers or students can book you up to the last minute Okay, so again, dapat whenever we have open slots, nagbabantay tayo. Okay? Um, teka, may mga pumapasok. Ito. Uh, okay. Okay. So again, now uh, whenever you have open slots, make sure, make sure na we're in front of our computer. Okay. Clear tayo don. Again, wag kayong aalis, wag kayong mag-assume na hindi kayo mabubok, because yun yung number, uh, yun yung reason ba tayo makakamis ng lesson ni. Eh. Sabi natin, eh, wala man nagbubok sa akin, biglang may nagbuk pala. Okay. So please don't do that. Okay. So always be in front of your computer whenever you open slots. Guys, kahit isang daang beses kung uulitin to, hindi ako magsasawa. <laughs> okay? Because this is very, very important. Okay? Sige. Next. Um, okay. So, contact lesson support for any issue that you may encounter during the lesson time. So, everyone, if you are conducting a class and you experience any type of issues, okay, literally, any type of issues you have to report it to the lesson support team okay again makinig pag nagkaklase tayo at may issue na nangyari report guys may mga kinukoach akong teachers ha ah, but coach may nangyari kasi o oh, report mo sa lesson support team hindi po guys again report it whenever you experience any type of issue. Because sa sila ang magsasabi kung ano yung gagawin nyo. Okay? Clear ba tayo dito? Okay. Hindi na ko i-react yung iba sa inyo. Okay, so make sure that you always have future slots or future open slots. So plotting your schedule in advance will increase your exposure and help attract more students. So also remember that you are required to open at least 30 peak slots per cutoff. So everyone, um, dapat, uh, we do recommend each and every one of you to open your slots in advance. That's why sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, if you can open your first cut off ng April slots na, please do. Okay? Because, because, yun nga, um, masasabihin ko, mas mabubok tayo ng mga studyante if we open our slots in advance. Okay? Mas tumatagal yung exposure dati. Okay? Sa students page, sa students end, uh, pag nag-open tayo ng slots in advance. So, pag tumatagal yung exposure natin, ma-attract din yung studyante sa atin. Okay? So, ibubook nila tayo. Um, and isa pa, if you open slots in advance, if the student like you, and that's your target, ha, to make the students like you, uh, if the student likes you, they can book your future slots. 
Okay? So just imagine, maraming estudyante yung gustong gusto sa'yo. Maraming mag-uunahan sa slots mo. So that's why uh, opening slots in advance is, uh, is a big advantage for you. And isa pa, ito ah, yung mga nag-open ng slots daily, hindi yan nabubok. Why? Like what I mentioned earlier, di ba, teachers here in the platform, 30,000. Di ba? 30,000. Ang nag-open ng slots daily, or ang, oh yeah, ang mga nag-open ng slots, sabihin natin, 15 to 20,000. Okay? So, for example, yung mga slots nyo, ngayon, ngayon mo palang i-open. Yung mga slots, o yung mga slots mo for later, ngayon mo palang i-open. So, paano mangyayari doon? So, sabihin natin, you'll open your 6 o'clock slot. Diba? 1,800. Again, ilan ang nag-open daily? 20,000. Diba? So, pag ngayon mo palang i-open yung slots mo for your slot or for your, uh, yeah, uh, yung mga slots mo later, ngayon mo lang i-open. So, pang ilang ka dun sa 20,000? Pang 20,000 ka. <laughs> diba? So, again, hindi ka mabubok. Why? Because nandun ka sa pinakailalim ng listahan. Okay? So, make sure to open your slots in advance para nandun tayo sa taas or sa gitna ng listahan. Clear? Okay. Sige. Um, teka lang ha. Event. Event. Event, can the answer, please? Hindi ka ito makinig. Ang dami mo nang na-miss. Uh, I think you need to reschedule na lang. Ha? Huh? Magpa-reschedule ka na lang ng training session because you missed a lot. Okay? So, you can enter this same link tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Okay? So, sige na, you can leave now kasi marami ka na miss eh. Sige, so going back, um, nasa na tayo? Okay, and guys, Uh, ang ang ano ah, ang required slots na i-open nyo in the cut off is 30 peak hours. Okay? So 30 peak slots ang eh, 30 peak hours. Sorry, 30 peak slots ang kailangan nyo i-open monthly. So starting April 1st cut off, dapat 30 peak slots na yung i-open nyo. Okay, again, Yvette, kindly leave now kasi nga, I scheduled a, an NTT session. Nagpa-open na ako ng slots. You need to reschedule. Okay, so pwede ka nang umalis, Yvette. Um, next, um, maximize your earnings. Ito, very important. Maximize your earnings by entering on time, ending on the 25th minute, scheduled 25th minute. Avoiding absences and posting your lesson memos on time. So everyone, as per the video, you really have to enter the class two to three minutes before the lesson time for, for you not to be late. Okay, because if you entered on the dot, for sure, late kayo. Okay, because again, pag nag-click kayo ng enter classroom, hindi yan exactly nasa room na kayo agad. So it really depends on your internet connection. So, kahit mabilis yung internet connection nyo, it takes like 10 seconds to 20 seconds for you to enter the room. Okay? So, just to be safe, everyone, you have to enter the AC room at least 2 to 3 minutes before the lesson time. So, pag na tayo, may monetary penalty yan. Okay? And of course, hindi na kayo ibubok na estudyante. Okay? Um, ending on the scheduled 25th minute. So, everyone, makinig. May kaka-coach lang ako kanina ng for SA deliberation. Okay? Guys, 
if your class are always end on the scheduled 25th minute. Okay, if your class starts at 9, end at 9.25. If your class starts at 9.30, end at 9.55. Okay? Everyone, do not go under time. It's a violation. Okay? Pag natapo, uh, if, you end, if you finish the class on the 23rd minute, 20th minute, okay, 24th minute, it's a violation. Okay? Always end on the scheduled 25th minute. Now, can you go over time? Techn technically, you can. But no, I don't recommend it. Why? First of all, hindi bayad ang overtime. Pangalawa, if you have consecutive lessons, late na kayo sa mga lessons na yun. Okay, guys? Again, um, if the student is late, you still have to end on the scheduled 25th minute. Okay? So if the student is 5 minutes late, 20 minute lesson lang kayo. If the student is 10 minutes late, 15 minute lesson lang kayo. Okay? Huwag kayong mag adjust Because is it your fault? No. It's their fault. Okay? Eh, saka may, eh, saka, ano nga eh, just in case uh, may consecutive lessons ka, hindi pwedeng mag-overtime talaga. Okay? So, everyone, eh, always end on the scheduled 25th minute. Okay? So, you know naman when to mark the student absent, tama? So, you need to mark the student absent on the 15th minute. So, after marking the student absent, you don't need to stay. You can leave the AC room right away. Okay, you can leave the AC room right away after marking the student absent. Okay, sige. Um, post your lesson memos right away. Okay, so there are lesson memo deadlines, diba? Do not wait for the deadline, ha? Dapat si lesson memo tapos na yan before ending the lesson. Okay, bakit? Who are experienced online teachers here? Okay, meron. Sige. Uh, for those who are experienced, magigit sila kung bakit eh. Si lesson memo kasi is, ang nakasulat doon are corrections. Okay? So, whenever a student commit a pronunciation error, a grammar error, you have to type it with its corresponding corrections. Okay? So, dapat pagka-commit pa lang, tinatype nyo na yan. You don't have to, uh, okay? Tinatype nyo na yan. And then, and then, um, teka nga, um, ayun nga. The last thing that we need to do, okay, before, uh, the last thing that we need to do uh, is, before ending the lesson, we have to give the corrections. Yan lagi yung last step, everyone, is to give the corrections to the student. Okay? That's why you really need to finish the lesson memo uh, before you end the lesson. Okay? Because yun nga, ang corrections binibigay yan before you end the lesson. Okay? And then once you gave the corrections already, you can post the lesson memos right away. Okay, you can post the lesson memos before ending the class. You can post the lesson memo right after you end the lesson. Okay, so you don't need to wait for the deadline. Parang awa nyo na, huwag nyo hintayin yung deadline. Dapat pinopost nyo na yan agad-agad. Okay, clear tayo? Okay, very good. Okay, next. Um... Okay, so once you're launched, check all the information on your MyPage account settings. So, sa, sa account settings so kasi, doon nakalagay yung, doon nakalagay yung information about you. Okay? So, so, um, everyone, yung dapat tama lahat na nakasulat doon. So, just in case na hindi siya accurate, just in case na Ang sasabihin ko, just in case na 
may mali, you can edit it or you can ask assistance from the lesson support team to change what is written there. Okay, so again, na importante yan, dapat laging accurate yung nandun. Okay, next, upload your B, ito, pera to. Teka nga, may papasok. Upload your BPI, Gcash, or dito. So, upload your BPI, Gcash, or PayPal uh, accounts as up. Okay? Um, so, payout is within 10 business days after each cutoff. So, uh, so guys, ganito ah. Uh, ilabas nyo yung ano nyo. Ilabas nyo yung ilabas nyo yung calendar nyo. Hindi ko na mapatayo si ano. Okay, ilabas nyo yung calendar nyo. So, ang first cut off ng March obviously ends at March 15. Okay? Now, um, sasabihin ko? Okay, so the payout schedule is within 10 business days. Okay, 10 business days uh, after, uh, within the cutoff. Okay, so um payout schedule nyo ng first cutoff ng March, mare-receive nyo between, makinig ha, between March 16 to 18, between March 21st to 25th, March 28 to 29. So within those 10 business days, guys, dun yung mari receive yung first cut of schedule nyo, or first cut of lesson fee nyo. Okay? Or sweldo. Okay? So again, between those 10 business days, dun yung mari receive yung lesson fee nyo. Now, everyone, heads up lang. There will be times na may receive nyo yan on the first day. There will be times na may receive nyo yan on the tenth day mismo. Okay? So, guys, huwag kayong masanay na, eh, lagi ko nare-receive yan on the fifth day. Eh. Ba't hanggang ngayon wala pa? May mali. It's not ganun, ha? It's not ganun. So, paiba-iba yan. So, huwag tayong masasanay, everyone, ha? So, paiba-iba -iba yan. And FYI, Hindi sabay-sabay nakukuha yung sweldo, guys, ha? So, for example, si uh, si Arthur, or for example, si Mariah and si Renette, magkapatid. So, they live in the same area. Pero, for example, si Mariah, nakuha 